Good morning, little scholars. It's Monday, week 21. And today for business, we are going to be learning about spending. So, tune in and learn with me. Yikes! Look at that! His pockets turning black and smoky. Huge! Fire! It's burning right through his jeans. What is it? What is it? Money. It burned a hole right through his pockets. Well, not really, but Shoy didn't stay there very long. It left so fast that it might have as well burned its way out. He spent it as soon as it got it on candy. He ate it all too. Now he's feeling sick. That's foolish spending. Spending isn't the opposite of saving. It's the opposite of earning money. And it means of exchange, remember. It's a means of exchange, remember. So we are going to look at how we are going to save. Then when you, then you exchange your money for things you need, you are spending the reward for your hard work. Money in, money out. Saving is keeping some of your spending ability for another time instead of letting it burn its way right out of your pocket and into a store keepers. Okay. Spending isn't wrong and saving is right. Saving is just delaying spending. Even giving is spending our money on others. There is nothing wrong with spending. The key is to be wise towards of what we spend. Eventually, we spend all our money away. So, knowing how to spend it is important. And there are three general rules of spending. Okay. One, we don't have to buy anything we follow God's wisdom and learn the difference between our needs and wants and desires. Okay? Then rule number two, when we spend, we spend wisely. That means spending it on things God approves and making sure we get good value for our money. A good product for a good price. We don't spend everything right away. That's number three. Rule number three, we don't spend everything right away. We plan to spend a certain amount and we stick to our plan. God wants us to trust and obey him and let him take care of us. Jesus said we can't serve God and money. If we go after money and things it can buy, we put those things ahead of God. On the other hand, we prove that we trust God when we obey Him, following His principles and spending wisely. So, trust God and make your spending plan a fire extinguisher. So, we are going to look at Proverbs 31 verse 16. She considered a field and by it, it. with the fruit of her hands, she planted a vineyard. That is Proverbs 31 verse 16. So, question number one says, The money that the young man spent was his own. What was wrong with how he used it and why? Question number two, What was the young man using his money for? Was it for his needs or his wants? How do you know? Question number three, what should we have done differently? And the last question, if God is like a father in this story, how do you think he feels when we admit our mistakes? What makes you say that? <laughs>